his biology high yes. school. Well, physics, well, physics, there's a lot. Uh, when you get into the digesting pH and all that kind of stuff, uh, we do, uh, in the young grade, fifth and sixth grade, we do potential and kinetic energy with them. We'll roll them down an inclined plane. Because the younger kids, they don't understand the concept of mass really yet, but they can understand big and small. And then we change the surface and talk about friction. Uh, there's a lot of math calculations in there for the physics, calculate, using the caliper and calculating the diameter, and then using the formula to calculate the volume of the sphere. And then seeing if they, the volume that they calculated with the caliper, you know, they're going to measure 10 of them and calculate it, and then put 10 of those in the cylinder and displace it and see if it's the same. And if it's not the same, you know, what's the difference? You know, where, where did that three or four milliliters go, or, you know, why is it not the same? No, I have my kids do it because they're so cheap and there's so many in here. So how if many the, would you say for like a class of 30? About that many. And if you're doing, so when I'm, when you're doing an experiment, uh, for a six period day, I used about that much. Okay. And so I'd put that in a Ziploc bag, a gallon Ziploc, fill it up about halfway with water, zip it up, and I'd just leave it overnight. I'd start it before I went home that day and then be ready the next morning. Now, a lot of the experiments, you're measuring how fast they grow in a certain period of time. We do a lot of graphing with them. Uh, so on those, you wouldn't start hydrating them until the kids got there, you know, and they would do it. Uh, I did seventh grade, so I was looking for something that would I could use them for just because I enjoyed them. We did microscope studies with them. Because if you look at them under a microscope, they look smooth here and they look smooth there. But as soon as you add water to them, it's an extremely rough surface. And uh, the polymer actually, Instead of being smooth, if you pictured a piece of notebook paper wadded up in a ball, you've got all those crevices and stuff through there. The polymer is trying to create as much surface area as possible to attract the water. So that was a good experiment. They absorb faster in hot water than cold water. So we did cellular respiration with them. If you adjust the pH, if you add vinegar and lower the pH, you're adding free hydrogen ions in there. What this polymer is doing is trying to attach to the hydrogen atom in the water. Okay. So if you lower the pH and have more hydrogen roaming around in there, they're going to attract to the polymer and the water's not going to be absorbed. So that affects how the water is absorbed. If you add salt, it slows it down. So there's a lot of experiments in there dealing with time, change over time. Uh, the little kids, like kindergarten, they get to do a lot of sorting and change over time are two of the big things. So they'll watch one grow and they'll watch one shrink. So, you know, they'll set it. It takes about two to three days for them to completely uh, dehydrate, and they will do that. I put them on a cookie sheet, Teflon cookie sheet, because they get a little sticky as they're drying. And two to three days, they'll, you can store them and reuse them. It is the activity book, which has got 13 labs in it, and five tubes. That's the kit. One of these tubes will make two of these. It makes about four liters. I've heard people use that. I, yeah, I, I, saw that at I keep a cylinder in my windowsill in the kitchen, and we water it, you know, and just for looks, keep it in the windowsill in the kitchen. Because if there's water there, they won't ever break down. It's just solid. You know, like the clear one is invisible. These aren't new. What you're seeing is the bubbles where the uh, circles are meeting. You can already see the ones on top are smaller because they're dehydrating. If you laid them out on a cookie sheet to expose all the surface area, they dehydrate in about two days. Now the color, well, all this coloring is, is powdered food coloring, and it only absorbs into the outer edge of the polymer. So once you've hydrated and dehydrated them several times, that color is going to diffuse out. But you can just add food coloring to the water before you hydrate it, and then it's reabsorbed.